One of the many jobs that I like to take on um, is where I think about where design is designed for good. And I've mentioned before that the sterling and amazing work that's done by Callum's Cabin to support families and children with cancer, to create areas where they can relax while undergoing treatment in the locale that's near to the hospital is really, really important. And in this case, this was the second flat in Glasgow that I created for them. And we wanted something very calming, something at the time where greys were just becoming very popular and still are, to create something that I think has stood the test of time. Let me take you through Callum's Cabin. Apartment Glasgow, number two. Here we are in what can only be described as a mixture of taupes and greys and cool tones to create a really relaxing ambience. And walking into this apartment, the doors are already in a lovely grey tone. So that set the scene for me to think of, let's have a hard wearing wooden floor to welcome you into the property. And although we just, in this hall, we have a series of doors and long corridors, I thought it would be nice to break the pace and to trick your eye into thinking, there's a texture, there's a woodland glade over there. I can see out of a window or I can see a texture. And what I've done is I've lined the feature wall here in this stunning, almost tree, woodland, misty atmosphere. Echoed beautifully still with the mirrored piece of art that welcomes you to come into the apartment. But you will see that this wallpaper really does set the scene because it brings everything I'm trying to do to this apartment in one fell swoop. We've got greys, we've got warmer tones, but we've got a geometric background in there, which is the key point for keeping the whole look of this apartment flowing well. We have geometrics, we have breaks of space, we have areas that just have essential detail, but everything is within a very, very limited palette. And even if I can take you through to see the little elephant sitting on the children's bedroom, guest bedroom, you'll see it's got a geometric feel to it, but in this case, it's behind the wall. It's the feature wall. It's behind two simple washable suede headboards and we're introducing more geometrics into the mix. So it's a fun interior for adults. It's a background which is perfect for kids to relax and enjoy. And it's a place where you can kick your shoes off and just relax. And these oversized bean bags mean the kids can sit at the window and have some gaming sessions, uh, can play games, is big enough to have this whole area here, which is really, really fun. Now, like a lot of new builds, the architects clearly don't like curtains because there's nowhere that I can sit curtains. So in this case, I've included in each of these windows which open, it's a perfect fit system which slots on to the recess of the window and I've used this blackout fabric. So at night time, these blinds can pull down, meaning everyone can get a good night's sleep. The mirrored wardrobes at the end of the bedroom reflect and make the room feel so much wider. But that soft geometric running through, even onto the cushions, even the elephants look happy sitting there and with some beautiful textures and throws, all warmed up with some lovely natural wood bedside cabinets, storage and a lovely working desk area. So although this is geometric and grey, it still feels warm and comfortable. And I think that's important because I do love geometrics and they're very, very fashionable just now, but you have to be clever with them. Keep a limited palette, then shock with a geometric. And I think the best 
example of keeping a limited palette is when I take you into the open plan kitchen, living and dining area. So we're starting off into the kitchen with a lovely soft taupey grey and grey splash back with a grey ceramic inset towel. Really good and practical and easy to clean. But what I've done is I've introduced a timber floor in. So it's bringing, even between the ceramic and the wooden flooring, you're bringing lots of different tones in there. And those are echoed into some of the accessories to warm the design up and warm up maybe a lovely little area for seating. And these are durable and it's a beautiful fabric chair, which creates a lovely seating area, which then flows into a soft rug area, which designates the TV area with loads of low storage. Again, keeping the same principles as some of the furniture outside, where we have a simple wooden look with a metal frame, but those tones really set the pace. So from the cool greys and warm tops, we then introduce a geometric into the rug, and then we can play about with feature walls, which actually looks 3D. It looks as if the walls are actually handcrafted, but it's just a clever trick of a vinyl wallpaper. But what it does do is it gives the statement that I would have maybe from curtains that I don't have in this instance. And that soft geometric then helps me build onto the sofa area, which is a really handy sofa bed. And we've introduced chevrons, diamond shapes, spearheads, some geometrics, we even mixed in some metallics. So it's quite a sophisticated look, but it's still young and funky. And pulling one of the cushions onto a lovely little armchair there and introducing another geometric on a geometric framed with a very simple wooden floor back into the geometrics. And you can see with, it doesn't matter what area you go to in the room, everything blends just perfectly and works really, really well. Again, no space for curtains. So what do we do? Introduce this perfect fit system and these blinds are an almost sheer fabric with a black stripe on them. So it's giving me a geometric look and pattern and makes the room have so much more identity. And those strips actually echo the frames of the legs of the furniture and the dining table. And all in all, we have a lovely, lovely blend of geometrics kept quite calm, quite crisp and quite simple with the use of a tonal color palette. The bathrooms then simply just flow themselves. And what I did was I've introduced a durable, uh, almost mottled gray brown ceramic floor, the square shape. And this is a nice little tip if you're thinking about doing your own bathroom. Do the floor and a feature wall on the same tile, but maybe change the shape of the tile. So we have a square here. We have a rectangle onto the wall, but then in the shower enclosure area, opt for something that has maybe more of a little bit of a detail that's a feature and in this case it looks like riven slate or stone but it brings all the colors together beautifully and works really really well and what a lovely family bathroom moving back into the hall you'll see the gray doors there dictating the initial feeling of the home bringing in the warmer tones and then through to the master bedroom. Again, no curtains, so we have blackout blinds, but in this case, it actually assists in a geometric look. And when you look at the feature headboard coming from the soft carpet onto a lovely bed end bench, with geometric karate chop style cushions. That's how they're placed on the square, chopped in the middle, looking great. Over onto a luxurious throw 
and a lovely mixture of geometrics and plain velvets and stylized side furniture and almost Art Deco inspired side lamps contrasting on the wall with some art but all in all the feature wall here of the soft geometric blacks and greys really really create the perfect atmosphere so that was the starting point in the room was that feature wallpaper which is really sophisticated really stylish kept calm with a beautiful deep buttoned headboard brought to life with some geometrics building up those luxury layers building up that end bench with the senate bench having a quick peek into the ensuite which is very very simple and architectural very simply done just a little pop of color with some false planting in there but you'll see from here a warm shower a wee cup of tea and an early bed and what could only be described as a sumptuous yet geometric inspired modern interior and you'll see from if I was to base out the five major colours in this apartment being the taupes, the greys, the black, the silvers and little warm touches in the wallpaper of soft taupes, natural timbers in the spare bedroom to then create an ambience and a feeling of light and airy cleanliness and durability you see that this really is a very simple exercise you just have to be brave in choosing contrasts so busyness with planes create little detail areas of artwork where you can and all in all just build up a lovely selection of geometrics that will make your design really pop and come alive so there you have it geometrics don't be scared they're so in vogue they can be fun and even if it's just a couple of cushions come on be brave geometric can be great